Breathe, Akrenes, breathe. Don't panic. Okay, we're in the belly of the beast here, guys. And we're looking for boxes. Black Sabbath. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my. I just pulled his arm right off. <laughs> Yeah, what we got here and these these have some decent retail. This would be like 150 bucks. No joke Yeah, Whoa. Ooh, this is looking good. Okay. These are that's Hummel, right? Look at, yeah $655 that's incredible. Yeah, a dusty abandoned storage locker full of collectibles covered in dust and spider webs a man on a quest for adventure buys it at an online auction for eighteen hundred and fifteen dollars hoping to find treasure what comes next stay tuned right here on locker nuts all right what's up locker nuts you ready to get back to that unboxing of the hummel locker the rest of it's in this van we're gonna pop that open in just a second but i just finished uh editing the first episode from yesterday's dig it's been a little bit warm today but that took me so much time it's actually like close to five o'clock if you can believe it still a bit warm but it's like the perfect perfect time to do it I'm wearing my sleeveless shirt so i can stay cool and uh not get too overheated but we're running out of time i got a lot to do as always every day so busy right at this moment jana is inside uh wrapping up our what must be almost four of a women's clothing auction let me take you inside real quick go check on how she's doing let's see Yes, size 16 on the silk satin ones. Yes, absolutely. Oh, All right, thank you. She's broadcasting live, so we gotta be quiet. But it looks like things are going well. Like I said, I think she's wrapping up hour four. Yeah, she's selling a ton of clothes. And if you saw, it's getting a little tight in that room because we've got so much stuff stocked up and ready to be sold. Okay. Uh-oh. There we go. Unlock the beast. And there's where I left it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But pretty much everything blocking our path, unfortunately, is almost all flea market. All this right here I put aside to go to the flea market. This is a box of records right here, so I got to get that out. And let's look at that. Uh, been some decent records, so I'm kind of excited about that. But there, that final wall in there it looks like a lot of Hummel stuff. And that could be exciting. And... Here's a view from over here. Uh, I think this is a Christmas something or other. Yeah, kind of dusty. Got to get the hand card out. And we have some other stuff underneath. Don't worry, this is a light aluminum hand card. It's not smashing anything. But I did put some humble stuff back there. So we got some interesting stuff in the back seat as well. All right, I think that's like going to be like one more video. I think we're going to bang this out in one more video. But uh, like I said, it's late in the day and I got a lot to do. Why? Because I got to pack up all that stuff that she's selling in there and ship it tomorrow. And tomorrow's a live auction. So, whew. okay, breathe, Lockerness, breathe. Don't panic. I'm just kidding. I don't really panic. I can handle it. I can do just about anything. But right now, what I got to do is start unboxing. You guys ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, I've got my chest harness on, so I got both hands free. Let's check out this box first. Okay, yeah, it was heavy, and that's why, because there's tons of records in here. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Uh, well, you know what's funny is I think we found this exact same box set in a different locker before. What's this? Just a newspaper? Okay, that'll get recycled. That's a good one right there. Oh, now we're talking David Bowie. Yes, I like that. Young Americans, very, very good. Dr. Hook, Best of the Doobies, Santana, this is great stuff. Jackson Brown, Black Sabbath, oh my goodness. Okay, now we're getting into some much better stuff. Um, and I only say that because I know that rock is just super hot. It's got some light scratches on here though. That is a real shame because most of the stuff I'm finding is like immaculate. And this is the one that's got the light scratches. Okay, it might still play. And I might just go in and test that too. Ooh, that Zeppelin. Yes. 
All right, David Bowie. Now this is my box. They, they, they must have built this box just for me. Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh man, we got some more Elvis too. Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. We found a bunch of Elvis already. Hank, who's that guy? Leon, huh? Leon Russell, got a few of his. I see some more Elvis. Elvis, Elvis, Elvis. Ah, oh, this just uh, cover them. Elvis, Blue Hawaii. I swear they already had this one. That's a duplicate. Elvis. I think that we're seeing lots of duplicates now. And that, they must just have collected everything Elvis. Look at all this Elvis. We definitely had that one already. This one. Oh, man. Yes. Wow. Uh-huh. Stevie Wonder. OJ's. Gladys Knight and the Pips. Diana Ross and the Supremes. Look at this. This is anthology. It's a big one. This has got, I think, three albums in here. That's the way it feels. That's great. Commodore's Greatest Hits. Another anthology. This one's Temptations. Nice. More Elvis. You know what? We really can't have enough Elvis. I love that. I love it. Herbie Hancock. Future Shock. Rocket. This, I, I had this back in the day when I was trying to break dance, learn how to break dance when I was in high school. That was pretty hilarious, I'm sure, for those that watched. Jackson 5. Ooh, Michael Jackson Thriller. Okay, that's in nice condition. Let's take a look at the record. I'm just curious what kind of condition it's in. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I see a couple very light scratches, but usually when I find these Michael Jackson ones, they are in rough shape, and that is because, well, this record got played, you guys. This is a great album, and the people who had it, played it. Stevie Wonder, Toto, Billy Joel, more Billy Joel, Billy Joel, Super Tramp, Ram, is that Paul McCartney? Red Rose Speedway, is that Paul McCartney again? The Police, Synchronicity, that's great. Ooh, Blues Brothers. Men at Work, I had this album back in the day too. That was a great one. Who can it be now? Rod Stewart, good. Elton John, Greatest Hits, we've had that album before in our auctions. It's a good album. Carol King, had that one too, lots of times. All right guys, I'd say this entire box pretty much is really good stuff. And by really good stuff, I mean stuff we're putting in our live auction. And if you don't know what our live auction is, come on, come on, you gotta come. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific, it's where you could own, for example, this Black Sabbath album. That's where they'll be sold. Yeah. But it's only on YouTube, right? Not on Facebook. You got to go to our YouTube channel. But we'll make it worth your while. It is a fun time. Okay, we're in the belly of the beast here, guys. And we're looking for boxes. Looking for boxes. There's a box. Doesn't look very interesting, though, but still got to go through it. All right, this one looks much better right here. Hummel. Looks good. I mean, there's lots of Hummel boxes in here. Look at even these ones. Hummel accents. Does that mean like a German accent? Now this one says Beverly and ribbons. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. These are nice ribbons, these Kirklands. We've sold those in auction before. In this box. Um, nope, we're going to have to go through that one. That one's got some mystery. All right, let's go with this big guy right here. I have a feeling this might be something decent. It's from the MJ Hummel Club. It's got 25 on there. What does that mean, like a 25th anniversary or something? I don't know. Layaway. Huh. Okay. So she must have put this on layaway, which means this must have been kind of expensive, I would think. Look at this foam. Oh, oh my. Look at this. That is really neat. MJ Hummel Club. And 25th anniversary, limited edition. There's only 2,500 of these made. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. And there's a base over there. All right, I hope this is worth some money. I hope it is, I'll look it up. I'll put it up above if it is. Well, you probably already know that by now because you probably see it, but I don't know. This looks like it's gotta be worth some money. It's interesting she put it on layaway because I think this lady had some money. She worked at Lockheed Martin. In one of the earlier videos, we found a whole bunch of uh, stealth fighter stuff, like photos and articles, and it seemed like she was involved in something to do with that plane and either the, the assembly or, I don't know, administration or something. She was also in the military, so neat lady. Her husband died uh, some years before her. He died in 02. She died in 09. Another Hummel. 
I didn't really want to handle that last one. It just looks so expensive. I'm worried I'll break it. Hopefully I can look it up based on what we found. Okay, this one. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. MJ Hummel, 2003, Moments in Time. Okay, this is another limited edition. This is a 5,000. So these aren't like super old Hummels, but hopefully these are expensive. There's another really interesting find. So if you remember, we paid $1,650 for this locker plus fees, which means I've got $1,815 into it. I gotta find some good stuff to make my money back and of course see a profit. That's the, that is the goal, right? We are a business. We do support our family off this little lifestyle of mine. And I'll tell you what, supporting a family in the San Francisco Bay Area, not easy. It's very expensive here. Harvest time, 2014. It says number 2014, I don't think it's from 2014. There's the base. There's a little placard. Oh, this is of 1,000 on this one. Cool. The big reveal. Okay. There's this one. Do I need to take it out? I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. It's just so nice. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a cool one. Harvest time. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, it says right there, 2003. Seems like she bought a lot of these pieces around that... Wait, she bought these pieces right after her husband died. Hmm. Well, maybe that was her way of... She got into this to kind of cope with losing her husband? I don't know. Alright, that's good. That's good. I'm hoping those are worth, a, you know, a few hundred bucks each, maybe. I mean, that might be a little lofty, but I said I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping that's what they're worth. A fake poinsettia. Okay, some little lo wood... Christmas stuff. It looks like flea market stuff to me. That's what I say. All right, this one says Donald Duck Christmas train. That was near the front, and I'm interested to see what this is about. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. Oh, this is Danbury Mint. Heck yeah, Donald's Holiday Express. This is this is something. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's that's awesome. Danbury Mint. Donald tr train, okay? That's <laughs> that's good, guys. That is good. That could be some money, too. Danbury Mint is uh, is a good find. We like finding Danbury Mint. And we found quite a few pieces in this locker already. Okay, I see some wrapped up stuff. Hmm, okay, this could be anything. Let's hope for no more glassware. Big rings would be nice. I have a bunch of hummels. Oh, okay, some salt and pepper shakers. Oh, bummer. This one's got busted up and they glued it. Yeah, we found a few salt and pepper shakers already. That's a wiener pratter, prodder. Okay, that'll go to the flea market just because it's broken. If it wasn't broken, I'd put it in the auction. Only the best for our auction is there. Another little stand for salt and pepper. This Carlson. What's going on here? This thing's tipped off right there. Okay, there's another piece. We have all those mugs. I think that matches those mugs that we have. A little bit of value, not significant. Okay, there's a lid that does not fit on that. That probably goes to the other piece. Another one of those uh, German pieces. Cool. Huh. That's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. $10.95 whenever that was. It's a brass, a little brass bowl. Some kind of coating on the inside. It's pretty. What did I say? A bowl? This is actually a basket, isn't it? Mm -hmm. A little salt and pepper shaker to match. Those other German pieces. Unfortunately, it's broken right there. It's got a little broken part to the hinge. Again, we won't put that in our auction if it's broken. Only if something's like significant value and has a defect like that, would we still auction it? A little glass or crystal bowl. Okay, what do we got here? Goble. Ginger, it says. That's pretty. Oh, it's Hummel. It says Hummel right there. I know Goble makes Hummel, but... Okay. What? Well, yeah, that's good. What, didn't I say I hope it's a Hummels or something here? And there's one right there. Okay, there's another Goble. Pores. Little dwarf. I think that's another Hummel. I don't know. Goble? Hummel? Is there a difference? I don't, ooh, I don't know, but that says 1970. So here we have something uh, quite a bit older. And I think that's a good. Golden Blessings, crafted in bisque porcelain. Little frosted glass character. Oh, this is a Hummel. Crystal Hummel. Okay. This is turning into a good little box right here. Is another one of those hands? And there's the other piece to that salt and pepper shaker set. 
and the gold bowl. Oh. It's supposed to be a baby Jesus, maybe, and it says 1979. Okay, that's nice. I'm liking this box, guys. I'm liking it a lot. Yes, here's another one. 1970 on that. Okay, I think that's good. Yes, another one. 1970, right? Oh, it doesn't say this time, but oh, I think it's gotta be because it looks just like the other ones. This is Carl. Y'all got names. There's another one. 1979, I think. Cal, 1979 right there. I think. That's neat. Hmm. There's a little salt or pepper shaker. I think that might actually be a gobel. Looks like it could be. Definitely going to put that aside. There's another one. Yes. Homco. Okay, another Homco. We have some a lot of Homco pieces we found uh, earlier on. Okay. I don't know if it's a Hummel or not. It looks like one. I don't see the normal markings. Yes, it is. There's the gold bowl. It's on sale for $6.30. Who knows when that was, though? After all those boxes of glassware and plates and stuff, this is awesome. Gold bowl. There's the pepper shaker to match. Okay, this is nothing. I was going to say it's got a whole bunch of broken tips on these. Yeah, but I don't see any markings on it at all. So I don't think this is anything too special. That'll go to the market. Another gobel. <laughs> Another gobel. And another gobel. This is cool. Another gobel. Alright, that's the last piece in this box here, but uh, whew, that was good. We found a lot of stuff. I don't know how much these are worth each. Uh, but each, even if that's $10 each, uh, I think some of them might be more like these guys in the 1970s. I think those gotta be more than 10 bucks each. It's gonna add up. That's probably at least a couple, a few hundred bucks right there. Okay, next one. Next box. Okay, yeah. This one looked kind of interesting. I say that only because there's little boxes. No other reason. <laughs> Maybe it's not interesting. Let's see. Homco. Another Homco. Homco. Yeah, a few more Homcos in here. They look like a bunch of ducks or swans or something. Socks appeal. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's Lennox right here. Okay, that's nice. Lennox. I know it, we've had a lot of Lennox pieces over the years. This is be 24 karat gold painting over the piece. This is nice stuff. This guy's not as not as nice. Young's China. Young's. He's missing his nose. Kind of needs that. Here's the same guy that was sitting there loose. Young's China. I don't think these are anything special, but I don't know. A little snowman. A little tchotchke stuff. Here's some little ornament stuff. Oh, this is nice because that's Disney. We'll put that aside. Hmm. Okay, ornament. Wait, is it too early for ornaments? To sell them, I mean? I don't know. Avon. Hmm, I just pulled his arm straight up, right off. <laughs> Sorry, penguin. Barely even hold on. Oh, Pillsbury Doughboy. That's a good one. 2004, the Pillsbury Company. Nice. Heirloom collection. Oh. Another Pillsbury Doughboy. And this one's supposedly mixed sound. Looks like a little battery is probably there before. Huh. I don't know how you make him mix sound, but we don't need to know everything. We need to keep his secrets from us. I won't hold it against him. Because we're still going to sell him. Another Avon. Alright. A little Drummer Boy, Inesco. More Avon. Are these worth anything? I don't think so. They just don't seem that nice, but I don't know. Oh, look at these. These are heavy. What are these made out of? Jubilee giftware. Some sort of heavier plastic or resin or something. Oh, what's this? This looks a little nicer. Oh, Bambi's tail is broken. Oh, so sorry. Homco. Oh, okay. Got a whole bunch of Homco right here. That's a little bit better. What about this? Another one. Homco. A bunch of them. Yeah. Alright, here's the next box. We got any writing on this one? No. Okay. It's a mystery. 
No, it's not. It's ribbons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe it was a mystery, but oh man, these are expensive. These ribbons right here. These are expensive. I mean, not super expensive, but they all add up, don't they? Oh, these Kirkland ribbons, dang. Okay, what am I gonna do, guys? This is good ribbon, too. Should I put this in a lot? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, here's the next Goble Hummel box. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on, be something cool. Ooh, I think that's cool. Gentle, gentle. Mm-hmm. 02, I think it's 2002. I don't know. Then it says 1972 right there. See that? 1972. It's very light. Hopefully you guys can see that, but no, I think this is 2002. Oh, it just comes as a box. The box this is a newer design on the box there. That is pretty neat. No base or anything else with this one. I'm loving this packing. This is great stuff here. There's our design right there. Umbrella Girl number 869. Okay, let's figure out what the price is of that. Another good one. Here's another one. Soapbox Derby. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's paperwork on top here. Certificate. Special edition figurine. Is the first issue in the Moments in Time collection. All right, I don't know what that means. Does that mean money? That's what I want to know. I think it might. Mmm. Yeah, another really, another really nice one, huh? Master Painter. 2001 on this one. That's nice. That's very nice. I know I'm flashing on the screen the values, guys. I hope this is adding up to be some big money here. I want to hear that cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Christmas decoration, that's what it says. Mm hmm. What it be? Made in China. Not exactly longer burger. Uh, I don't think that's anything special. Paint's flaking off if it is. Hmm, a mouse riding a dragonfly. You know, that is actually kind of neat. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, and I like the weird stuff. It's a little different. Okay, all this stuff is just decorations. Not too interested in that. Oh. Another basket made in China, like the other one. But these are, uh, these are not cheap bells here. This actually, it looks kind of chintzy, but it's actually nice. These are heavy bells. Look at this. Mm. I don't know if I made the dog next door start barking. I just may have done that. There's a whole bunch of them in here. They almost look like grapes. This is a Hallmark. Alright, they were $7 brand new. Can, when was that though? I don't know. Not super expensive. Seems nicer than that. Fragile. Mm. Oh, this is a global. Okay, little candle holder. Put them in, snowman lights up, global. Okay, that's not bad. Made in China, though. There's a little candle to get you started, a little tea candle. Oh, this is Hummel Accents gift set. Yes, this is a good sign. Certificate of Authenticity is right on top. Christmas Frolic and Autumn Frolic. Okay. This is Playful Pals, so where are those from? I don't know. Let's see what this is. Yeah. There we go. What you want? What's your problem? Okay, that's good. Put that back in. That's a good one to sell. Cat's getting awfully mouthy lately. What's your problem, Luna? Hmm? Hmm, hmm, Okay, this is Autumn Frolic. As it says right there. Well, something's supposed to go on top of that, I would assume. All right, right? Because, yeah. Okay, we're getting in this thing for sure. Oh, show. Okay, what do we got here? There's a bunch of kitchen towels, pot holders, all kinds of Christmassy type stuff. And I think this can go straight to the market. Okay. Pampered Chef. It says right here, Halloween decorations. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. That looks like what we got. That's kind of neat, though. 20 bucks at Richard's. Little bobblehead. That's neat. And just some plastic pumpkins. Nothing too crazy. Ceramic pumpkin. All right. Back in the car to the market. 
Yeah, this is what we like. Homo accents box, another one. Little knitter. That's what she is. She's got a little yarn, and her, even her cat's got some yarn. Nice. Certificate of Authenticity for the Quilting Bee. Yep, Quilting Bee. Oh, okay, that's cool, isn't it? So I think, oh, this part's moving in there. So I think that little girl sits on this. Maybe there's another character as well. Quilting Bee. That's actually really nice. Yeah, $19.99 on this, a little bit older. Just a little bit. Okay, and there's another little box here. This one's Apple Tree Boy, that's what it says. That's what we got. Look at him. Pretty nice. He's in an apple tree. They don't lie. Nice. This one's called In the Kitchen, number 1423. Yep. Okay, pretty cool. These are in great condition. They're not even dusty. Like, I don't even think they were displayed. I feel like she ordered these little miscellaneous sets here and just left them in the box. I don't know if she displayed them at all. Cozy Kitchen, 1999. Yep, there we go. Another set. Oh, this one actually does have some dust on it. Okay, so this was displayed. Cozy Kitchen, nice. Yeah, there's three in that one. That's a little different. The other one's only had two. Okay, next item. This one's sealed closed. The question is, was it resealed or was this never opened? Seven dwarfs. That sounds good. Ooh, this is kind of exciting. What's this? Okay, what is this? This looks nice. Okay, what is this? I don't see a maker. No, it says Disney and this is China. This is some kind of Disney piece. Hmm. So it's got a tag on it, but it just says caution, no, you know, not for kids under four. Oh, this is a stapler. This is, I think, for sticky notes. This guy's a pad. This is, oh, I see now, paper clips. Oh, okay. yeah, what's this guy for? Tape, probably. Yep, tape dispenser. <laughs> I mean, they, they do feel like they're good quality. I mean, they're resin. Oh, okay, wait, that was just covering the bottom. Item number 20253. It's Disney, so what's this one for? What goes in there? I don't know. That's a little thing for your office to decorate your desk. And I just noticed the number on the bottom of the figurine matches that number, so hopefully I can find it by that. You guys will know, because I'll flash it on the screen if I can find the price on that. It might be worth a little bit of money. A couple more boxes here. The Christmas salt and pepper shakers. Okay. Okay, there's another pepper shaker. Russ Berry and Company, item number 101420. Maybe that's something. Here's the matching salt. Oh, there's another one. What, we got two of the same? Yep, two sets. Okay, what is this here? Hmm, it's kind of light fixture. These are plastic, these are not crystal. Plastic, cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, yeah, next box. Got some pots here by the Pampered Chef Professional, it says. Yeah, okay. What's this? Huh, Jacks. Is it mine? It is now. Has a leather pouch. Yeah, <laughs> Jacks. Has a pretty nice set of Jacks there, some rubber balls. Yeah, here we got a bread maker. All right? No. Some kind of a fryer. It's a rival. Mm hmm. That's what it looks like. Model RCF15 Fryer. Looks like we need the cord for that now. And what we got here? A nice little garden set, almost for like kids or something, because it's not very, uh, not very upper end. Okay, unfortunately, I'm losing my light. I got way too late of a start today. Too many distractions, but we did make a little dent there, um, and the back seat is next up. So here's what I gotta do. I got all this stuff here. I gotta put, I guess, put back in the car because my garage is so stinking full right now. The auction, however, was a huge success, and that's pulled me away for a little bit. I've been in there making sure everyone paid and getting all the numbers together and everything, building my spreadsheet. But check this out. All of this sold today in our live auction, all these clothes. This all came out of the Eileen Fisher and the Rich Laney Locker.
Can you believe that? All these clothes sold. So you know what that means? I got to pack all this up. That's on me. That's what I do. Um, I pack so and ship. And I want to try to get these out tomorrow. And I have a live auction tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to cap this right here. But we'll pick this up in the next episode. Which for you guys won't be anything. It'll start right about now. All right, guys. I'm back from the auction. Let's get into here and uh, do the rest of this unboxing. But all I can say is I was gone for a while, I'm back. So I know you're probably asking yourself, was that auction successful? Did we get anything? Well, all right, all I'm gonna say is that I brought a bag of locks, my little satchel with locks. There might be six less locks in there than there was this morning. Okay, I said too much. You guys are gonna find out soon enough. But right now, let's just get in here. Let's finish up this Hummel collector locker right now. All right, let's get to it. Let me try to get this off without ripping up my seat. Got a nice empty truck right here, went to the dump. Then I came back home and put all the packages on it that we sold in the auction yesterday and went to the post office. So I've unloaded that truck twice today. Yeah, what do we have here? Hmm, auto shade. Oh, that's cool. Look at this jet stream oven, American Harvest. Kind of interesting. Uh, and this is also kind of interesting right here. It's a vintage uh, thermos of some sort. Okay, this is really interesting here, guys. So I got a phone call. I had to stop the video. But um, while I was on the phone, I looked up. Not this. That's kind of neat, but not not that amazing. This right here. I looked up American Harvest jet stream oven because this is odd. This is different. And I wanted to find out. Yeah, what we got here and these these have some decent retail now if I had the box and all the instruction book and everything with it this would be like 150 bucks no joke now the ones out of the box like this sell for anywhere from 40 to 120 dollars out of the box I don't know why there's such a broad range yeah there's some value here there is some but well, how am I gonna sell that? I gotta test it I gotta test it and uh, list it and all that this one right here, expander ring. This one's in the box still. It's $27.50 brand new. Selling this with the oven, that just raised the value. Oh, wow. This is brand new. They've never taken this out. I have to make sure all the pieces are here. I see two rings there and this, whatever. That, could, that might have a little value too. I'll put it on the screen what that's worth if I can find a comp. That's some decent finds right there. This, I love the pattern. That's definitely vintage. Looks like 60s or 70s to me. But um, it, the handle's plastic, it's not metal. And yeah, it looks a little funky. That's just gonna go to the market. But this is neat. Looks like brass umbrella stand. Got a fair amount of umbrellas in here. What's this? Relaxicizer. See that? Relaxicizer. What's that? How does that work? Oh, that's not easy. Wah! I got my locker on that chair. Yeah, I noticed that you were in that the auction today. Oh, the auction today? Not exactly covert. That auction. I went and got your. Shh, don't say anything. Shh. You're going to have to watch I the video coming dinner. up. Yeah, Ooh, I got like this bag. Yeah, chicken and salad. Mmm. <laughs> woo woo. So exciting. Okay, I'm Actually, I am excited. Boxes. That's my only meal today, so I am excited, actually. I like this box. Here. Yeah, that's not as interesting as it looks, but we could pull that out in a little bit. Here's a we'll see. extension rod for like a painting, you know, like a roller. It's like a Mary Poppins. Isn't that a nice uh, yeah, it's brass. umbrella? Brass monkey. Jana was just telling me how she really likes this locker and how she thinks it was a great purchase. I have to agree. This was a this was a fun one. I did like this one. We're not done yet, but I'm saying so far I've really liked it. All right, this is more Christmas decoration. Like six bucks each on these things. We'll hopefully get a few bucks for that box at the flea market. Okay. All right, that tape. Look at that. <laughs> That's no adhesion at all on that tape. That's too far gone. Too many years, too much heat. All right, we got some garland or something. Uh, 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 part of the Christmas tree, maybe? I don't know. Well, yeah. She was just saying she really liked the way these look. We peeked in that already. She hasn't. Well, maybe we'll all save that and go through it with her. Maybe she wants to see it for reals. Okay, I usually, I really like these types of organizers because we found like jewelry and stuff in them before. I know it's weird, but I do find jewelry on these lots of times. There's a whole bunch of pens here. Nothing crazy. 
a little bit of mechanical pencils like those. Nothing too crazy though, like I said. Gotta be careful with this stuff. There could be a money envelope in here. It's all checkbook stuff. But I found money, you know, before. In a, just a drawer that had like paperwork and stuff in it. Jana's back. She says, I want to look. Um, the auction thing, the UPS guy whistled at me. No. Yeah, and Kat called me. Oh my goodness. You're so clueless. I was like... Jeez, how rude. I wish I'd heard that. I would have punched him out. <laughs> and he said something too. What did he say? I don't want to say it. What? A uh, UPS? We should report him to UPS. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I now like. this one's looking better. Okay, we looked in this one already, but I didn't look in this one. Ooh, this is looking good. Okay, these are... That's Hummel, right? Look at, yeah, there's some mm -mm, money in here. This is nice. This is not what I saw I there. Said I thought these might look good. What do you think? 70s? 80s? Mm, I think 70s. Most of the stuff she has is newer. This design, though? 1988. Okay. So, Which is still a little bit older for her. Like, she had stuff as new as 2003. Yeah, that's a lot. Look, what in the world? It's four deep. Four deep five. times nine, 36. Five so 36 to 45 in there. That's a lot. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, these will be good in our auction because these are easy to ship. Yeah, we're selling in lots. That's cool. It's a gold Christmas. So what, what is this, gold? Yeah, gold plated or gold tone. I don't know. And okay. so what's in here? Let's look in here. Yeah, Ooh. this one I saw already. This is not the ornaments that came in the box, right? Miniature plate, 1985. Not in there. Empty. Okay. I didn't find that. No, these are all empties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a bummer. Maybe we'll find them wrapped. Uh, I did find quite a few Hummel figurines. Yeah, so maybe loose. Well, the boxes so. are important, so let's keep that. I didn't find those plates, so I know that, but I may have found so some of these cute. other guys. The little plates are super cute. 1983, made in Germany. That's older. It seems like things, we're getting a lot of made in Germany stuff lately. Like what? I don't know. That's called foreshadowing, people. Yes. Yes. This is, oh, it's a little kid. I wonder it's called. Oh, these are cute. Exclusive edition. Exclusive edition, yeah, it's a different so colored box. So this is box. part of the club. So the blue ones are the club, I think. Boy, look at this, mm -hmm. this is good stuff. Oh, that's mm -hmm. darling. That's cool. Oh, that one's, look how the great condition. Let's look what the other ones look like. What does it say on the bottom, 1985? That's Beverly. older. Oh my gosh, that one's darling. So cute. These are hand painted, right? I don't know. I think so. Okay, so is this the boy that goes with the girl? Look at their little. I wonder. You wonder. Well, this one's called I wonder. I know. Oh, it's another little girl. She's darling. Look at the little doll. It looks like it's signed here and there's a little B. 1988 on this one. And look at that. I wonder what that is. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, how cute. The fishing. That's super cute. Look at the colors are really pretty. Oh. 1984 on that one. Yeah. The 80s, cool. baby. The I 80s. Was in middle school. Certificate okay, of Authenticity. Christmas Frolic. Ooh, right into Christmas. 1997. So it's a little newer. Okay. Oh, so that's good. where you put some of the figurines on there. Not those, but some other ones. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's probably a set. Christmas ones. Okay. Nice. 1997, so it's newer. Still 25 years old almost. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Graviola. Herbal supplements. Oh. A little checkbook here. Okay, what do we got? Woo! I like this. What do you call this? Uh... Home? No, they call... Oh my god. <gasps> the little boy with the bunny. Oh, that's precious. Private, Private conversation. conversation. 1990. It's good. That's darling. 31 years old. Oh, so cute. So cute. I love babies. You love babies. I love Ella, baby. She smiled and laughed at me today. Okay. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh, in the that's pot? darling. Huh. Look at his hair. I love the colors they use. Gosh, that's beautiful. Exclusive. What's, what year is this one? I think it's 1985. Wow. Okay, another one. Mm-hmm. Oh, cute. 1955. It looks like 1955, huh? Wait, could that be that old? No. What the heck? It says that. That it's, box is not from 1955, though. There's no way. Yeah, this is too new. Maybe uh, it's a re... Like a... Yeah, maybe. Maybe one of the one they did in 1955. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not really that versed in Hummel world. Because no. I've never found, you know, Jackie Hummels said, like this. I found Hummels. Do you think that would be cool? And I said, yes! 
It's amazing that you kept all the boxes. I think. Behave, this one's called. Yeah, it's good. I was worried these were all empty in the almost were in some collection inside someone's house. Nope. Oh, pretty. They have these. Oh, it's a little Dotson doll. Dog. Hmm. What year? Yeah, this is 1958. What the heck? What's going on here? This is 1958 on it. Is there any way that's that old? Because this box is not that old. Did they issue boxes and put older ones in new boxes? I don't they think could've. so. Huh. No, they could have put their older ones in the new. That's the boxes. right box, though. It's behave. She's telling the dog behave. It's the right. It's the right figurine for the box but did they reissue boxes and put old figurines in the boxes this is uh ask the people watching they might be able yeah, to do you guys know what this deal is here because they usually know more than us <laughs> that's not hard <laughs> <laughs> all right oh they're all so cute little kids look at that cutie patootie 1996 mm -hmm. or five cute Oh, 2001 and two. All right, another little figure. Puppet princess. Club year. Is this something to do with the Hummel Club? Yeah. yeah. Hummel Club. So she must have belonged to the club for a long time. I don't know. Oh, gosh. What a little cutie with the hat. Thank 2001. You. Oh, this Ooh. is lovely. Oh, I like it's this. A dish. A little container. Oh, with the kites. Oh my gosh. 2002 on this. So cute. Look at that lid. That's neat. Super cute. Again, the colors they use are so beautiful. Box round umbrella boy. Nin number 1900. What? No way. $260. What she the heck? That. I had no clue they're that much money. Mm -hmm. that, can that be possible? Yeah. For this? Yeah. So I told you they were good. Um, I've seen them in estate sales and stuff, and they ain't 260 bucks. Oh, mm. oh gosh, that's darn. Look at the little, lot of bumblebees. I love the flowers. Oh, that is so darling. Yeah. These are so cute. Oh, master painted. And by who? Oh, neat. So they have the painter's that's name and sign. That's why it's special. Yes. What was the year then? 2001. Okay. This one's a special one though. Yeah, that one is special. We'll have to auction these off. Oh, Not nice. this week, but next week. Mm. Oh, gosh, Another nice sweet. one. I love how they all have, like, they're holding their little dolls and dogs. And this is 1959. 1959. How's that possible? I don't know. It must be a reissue of an old one. Mm -hmm. This is an exclusive edition. It must be some kind of reissues. I agree. But I would think they wouldn't be able to put the old date on it. For the club, they might. Um, my nose is itching because there's so much dust on all oh, this stuff. I can stuff. feel it on my hands. Oh, I love little these. Container. This is good. These are my favorite. Oh, gosh. What a great gift. The love lives on. The love lives on. I like that. Mm. Oh, how sweet. This is Master Painter also. Oh, signed? Oh, gosh. Look at that. You're right. Cloth bone. Look at that. It's a number. Jeez. This is 1950-something on it, but... That's not dust, either. It's like, that's the shading, huh? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Could be dust. That's cool. Let's see if this one's got a price tag, because this one's probably more expensive. $655. That's incredible. Yeah. $655, that's like, probably 20 years ago. Yeah. All right. Another tree. They have a lot of, I found a, quite a few things with tree themes. Kids sitting in the trees. With the little cherry blossoms and the bird. It's nice. They're really pretty. Mmm, that's a big one. Aww. Look at this. Cat! Look at it, it has a heart. Hmm. This one looks different down here. There's a heart down there. This number? 2006 special edition. This is a little bit newer. It's pretty. Yeah, it's cool. We have quite a collection here, right? It's ridiculous. It's a lot of pieces. We're gonna have to get to selling these. Oh, there's another uh, little container. Another umbrella boy too. Maybe this is a duplicate. Another big one here. Okay. Oh wow. Deer. Wow. Tree. Hmm. Signed in the bottom. This one's cool. That one's super cool. Yeah, it's neat. Oh, this one's cute. Little basket. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. signed. Oh, look at her eyes. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's, that's a master painter one. Yeah. 2001. Really nice. 
That's good. That's going to be worth some money, right? Do we have a price tag? Oh, it's gorgeous. A basket of gifts, number 1781. Okay, here's the next one. That's really pretty. Oh, there's another master painter. What the heck? We're on a run here. 2004. But look, it says 1997 there, but it says 2004. And then they were signed. And then 99 there. Wait, what? So maybe she had it signed twice. Wow. First issue, 97, it says. This maybe is something they, good. Maybe they sent them in to get signed. Maybe. Or she went to, like, a special show. And uh -huh. I don't know. That could be. It's like comic books. I mean, when they first did it, they signed it, and then they signed it again, and then she got it. $495. Christmas delivery. <laughs> Careful with that one. Yikes. Okay, this one's no prize. Did you see that one says love letters on it? A force tribute. Uh, I think it might be a doll. I think we found another one that said yeah. love letter is a doll and it we didn't have value, but we'll find out. Ooh, oh, Air, Air Force. Force. like my brother, my nephew. Oh. 50th anniversary of the Air Force. Oh, I kind of like that. Limited edition, 435, two of them out of 1,200. Mm. That is, we're going to have to auction that. That's cool. The 50th anniversary of the Air Force. That's really cool. Oh, look at this. Mm -hmm. Sealed. Yeah, picture frame. Brand new, never opened. Mm -hmm. Pan digital. Right, we'll go to the flea market. You said this is a good brand? Yeah, it is. Faults graph? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? This I've found a whole bunch of cups and all kinds of pieces to this. Uh, yeah, it looked like that. Yeah, I found a whole bunch of yeah. other parts to this set right here. But whatever. They're in the flea market batch, so that's where they're going. That's where they're going. They're pretty. Oh, we're down to the last two boxes. Wow, the last two boxes. And this well, one's... I can't show you. This one is finito. Ooh, that's maybe better than a toaster. Mm -hmm. Crystal collection. This one's kind of light. Yeah, like there's just boxes. Mm -hmm. Why would all the paper be? I did find one that was just crystal. It was glass. I thought it was frosted glass. It might have been crystal. So this might be the box of the ones that I found that are loose. I found a whole bunch there in those boxes down there. Yeah, these, these are all of these. Okay, gee, that's kind of a buzz kill. Yeah. Alright, well still, it's good we find the boxes to them. They're worth more with the box. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay yeah, this is not this? a doll. This is, this is Hummels. Or not. Bummer. Okay, we might, maybe that's one of the open ones too. With authenticity, that's kind of nice. Love letters. Maybe we do have it in this one. You said you thought that sounded yeah, familiar. This is empty too. Okay. I thought we found a doll that said love letters, but maybe it was a gold. If we did, it's one of these boxes here wrapped up in paper. So is that it for this so, locker? Uh, that is it for this that's locker. That's it for this locker. Thanks for all your help, Jana. I helped you pick it. I said, I think this is a great locker. You should buy it. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, because I sent you the link and said, I'm going to bid on this. What do you think? Sometimes I say, no. And then I do it anyways. But this one, I said, no, this one looks really good. I love it. I was actually saying, I don't know if we should do this right before we go on vacation. And you're Subscribe. like, do it. It's good. Subscribe. All right, guys, we're done going through all the stuff. Finally, 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 finito. The van's working out great, by the way. I love this thing because I just, it's been sitting in here for like over a week. And uh, I just can't do that with the with the truck or an open bed trailer. Um, yeah, it's really been a game changer for me. But we're done. Most of the stuff in here is flea market, except for the Hummels. I'm going to pull those back out. We just made some room in the garage. But what I haven't done yet is looked up the values of those. I'm going to do those right now. So we're not going to wrap the video up just yet because I want to get kind of a clue in as to how we did. I'm hoping those are worth the uh, hundreds of dollars each especially the big ones the nice ones and if so then we're going to profit pretty nicely on this now if the price has gone down on those then maybe not so much maybe it's going to be a tight one to squeak out but i think we have enough nice stuff that we're going to we're going to make some money with this i just don't know so let me pause right now and uh, we'll continue in just a sec all right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. So uh, as you guys know, I've been flashing prices throughout on most of the items, and I think the big ticket items. And yeah, we're going to make some money on this unit. Those were surprisingly big values on some of the items. I mean, I think the most expensive one was like eight or 900 bucks. Blows my mind, really, um, but I'm so excited. So we're going to start selling that stuff. Some of the stuff may make it to our eBay store, but a lot of the items are going to be sold right here in our auction room. So make sure you're attending our auctions if you see anything in the videos that you like. If you like Hummels, make sure you show up for our auctions over the next couple weeks. Also, as I mentioned in this video, we did attend a live auction and we've got some fan 
fantastic units coming up. Amazing stuff. I don't want to tell you too much because I just want you guys to watch the videos and be amazed. And I'm going to try to do them, I think, in order and so that the best ones are last. And uh, that's how, just how I love doing it. And the best ones are... Mm, they're good. There's going to be some good stuff. But even the first one, which I already cleaned out, is uh, still pretty amazing. All right. So great videos coming up. This locker was a great video. Thank you guys so much for watching the videos and coming along with me on the adventure. It's so terrific that you do that. And uh, I'm just very, very thankful. All right. Next one will be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, this is a little guy here. Yeah, got a little dust raining down. Yeah, it looks kind of junky to be honest with you, but check this out. Leaves and spider webs. That has been the theme for me lately. I've been hitting so many with leaves and spider webs. I love leaves and spider webs.